Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. We're here in the International Space, Space, Space Station flight control room with the uh, con flight control team inside uh, the Mission Control Center in Houston. And leading the team today is Flight Director Royce Renfrew. You can see him here. He is currently working without a Capcom as today is a partial off-duty day for the crew on board the International Space Station. The six astronauts that make up the Expedition 33 crew are about um, halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time. And as I said, they're enjoying a well-earned partial day off after a busy week last week, busy weekend, and a busy week ahead. Commander Sonny Williams and Flight Engineers Kevin Ford, Aki Hoshide, Yuri Malenchenko, Oleg Novitsky, and Evgeny Terelikin are uh, more than halfway through their day, which started again at 1 a.m. Central. For Williams and Russian cosmonaut Malenchenko and Japanese astronaut Hoshide, it's their 107th day in space and 105th at the International Space Station. They launched from Baikonur in July and are almost to the end of their stay. They're scheduled to return home on November 18th. Their crewmates, Ford and cosmonaut, cosmonauts Novitsky and Terelkin, are much more recent arrivals. Having launched on Tuesday and docked with the space station on Thursday, they're on their seventh day in space and their fifth at the space station. They're planning to stick around until March. Crew is currently flying 261 miles above the Pacific Ocean on a course that's going to take them over Central America in just a few moments. As I mentioned, last week was a busy one for the station crew. Besides the arrival of half the crew, they also spent their Sunday saying goodbye to the SpaceX Dragon capsule, which brought uh, NASA's first contracted uh, cargo delivery. It was docked from the Harmony node using the Canada Arm 2, the space station's robotic arm, and then released at 8.29 a.m. Central for its return to Earth. It splashed down successfully in the Pacific Ocean at 2.22 p.m. Central Time, bringing with it a load of scientific supplies. Unlike all the other, other cargo crew ships, which currently visit the space station, those are allowed to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere when their missions are over. The crew that saw the Dragon capsule off won't be resting on their laurels, however. Although today and tomorrow are technically off days for them, they're staying fairly busy. Williams and Ford are both spending some time with the reversible figures experiment today. That looks at how living in microgravity affects astronauts' visual perception. And Ford is also doing some work with the Italian Space Agency's Elite S2 experiment, which investigates the connection between brain, visualization, and motion in the absence of gravity. Meanwhile, Aki Hoshide is getting some additional new crew members settled following their arrival on Thursday. Besides Ford, Novitsky, and Terelkin, the Soyuz TMA-06M also delivered eight freshwater fish bound for the aquatic habitat brought up on the last Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle over the summer. Hoshide moved the fish into the habitat today where they'll be used as another way to observe how living in space affects vertebrates. crew will be receiving another cargo delivery on Wednesday when the Progress 49 resupply vehicle arrives. It'll be launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 2.41 a.m. Central Time and then foregoing the usual two-day catch-up for a rendezvous that same day at 8.40 a.m. Central Time. And then they'll follow that busy day with yet another busy day when Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide head outside the space station for a spacewalk to repair an ammonia leak on one of the station's port side radiators. The spacewalk is scheduled to start at 7.15 a.m. Central Time on Thursday, and NASA TV coverage of that event will begin at 6.15 a.m. Throughout all this, the crew is also keeping an eye out for chances to catch views of Hurricane Sandy. They passed over it uh, yesterday, just, just after 11 a.m. Central, and are scheduled to go over again today at 10.16 a.m. for their first pass. We'll be airing uh, that view live as we get it during the hour. That's what's going on in Mission Control Houston, and uh, or that's what's going on on the International Space Station, and this is Mission Control Houston.